Okay, you got the uh, 2022 Aprilia Tuareg 660. Done a few videos on it. Um, yeah, it's kind of dirty. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and uh, added the rear rack on this thing. Actually, this makes it a lot easier to move around uh, when you're, <clears throat> or if you drop it over, pick it, pick it up, it makes it really handy. So I went to that uh, and I've got the, uh, the luggage for it. Yeah. It goes on the back of it. But anyway, we're going to concentrate right now on the Turing screen and that, uh, that you get from Aprilia. Uh, actually got it from uh, AF1. And I have the, also the, the addition here. Uh, it's called X Screen Tour. Here it is right here. Sorry about the sun, the way it dropped down over the, uh, over the hill there. It's got a little reflection coming through the glass, but anyway. I do this right. Uh, this may, and uh, what it comes with, of course, is your your uh, visor that comes on that I put on the uh, touring. I got the I bought the touring edition. It's about three hundred nineteen dollars. Uh, you can get that at the AF One website. Uh, so, uh, and I added this. X screen tour, the windscreen revolution. Well, anyway, so I don't know if any of these numbers will help. I got the clear, of course. <clears throat> and the the one I ordered, I ordered for the, the, the clip on, but I didn't get the clips. And they came separate for some reason or another. I, I didn't get now I didn't get this from AF1. No, I you can get this, uh, I believe you can get it at RevZilla. There's different places you can get these. Uh, if you type that in, you know, you you can, uh, Amazon even sells them, but uh, the brand looks like X Screen Tour. That's what it is, it's MRA, windscreen, motorcycle wind, windshields. Yeah, WWMRA, that's, well, okay, that's, but you can get them here in the US. And uh, that's what I got, and I added this to it. And it also comes with a, a template, which I used. You can see I already got the hose, <laughs> already drilled the hose out. And what I did here, I've got another video uh, when I was in the process of doing it. So <clears throat> what I did here, you line this, I'll just do one side. Uh, it says to line it up there at the arrow. Uh, but what I ended up doing I wanted to drop it down, so I ended up instead of going up to that one, I put it. I dropped it down to the other one. To that to wait a minute. I didn't do it that one. Uh, I forgot. Well, it's going to show up how I did it. Let me see. I, I may have a better way for doing this. Let me. I'm going to have to set this down where I can. Get a better view of this. There you go. Set this tripod up. There we are. Uh -oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. This might work a little bit better. <laughs> it may have too much light. Let's do that. So this is what I did. <clears throat> How I did this was, instead of going to here on the drill, up here on the this one right here, says to go there, I dropped it down to, to uh, believe, if I can line these up, line these up, I had to do it on the other side. I mean, you might want to put it in a different position, but right here, if I put it on the other side, right here is where I put it at. And so, you know, 
because when I when I put put it up here like this, and I brought it up to the this first arrow, see how much higher the uh, hose would have to be drilled up here. So uh, I went down a little bit, about an inch. And what's really nice about this template, it lets you square it up. Once you get it to there, to the arrows, as long as you can match up the, this is better if I put this on the other side. I really have this camera set up in the wrong view, but I think what's gonna happen is the, uh, well, the light, the sun will drop down and we'll have such a glare. Sure enough, it's gonna be a glare. Let me set it back a little bit. Uh -oh. There we are. So maybe, maybe this will work a little bit better. May have too much glare. May have to set my camera a little bit, but I really, <clears throat> uh, really want to get this. So, uh, so there, uh, there you have it. You have these numbers right here on this thing. Instead of putting it at this first arrow up here, if I put that in there, <clears throat> it was more at this crease. I brought this edge right here, which is pretty nice. What I did is I peeled this off, <clears throat> and that is at two. Look like oh, the light's really coming through. <clears throat> anyway, oh, yeah, more that sun is really working against me. So the, uh, it was about like two and a quarter. I brought this part right here, the two and, uh, uh, well, uh, two and a quarter of this a metric millimeter or 200 millimeters. I don't know, it must be 20. Anyway, put it to the two and these are six, these are six millimeter hose. Uh, so six millimeter drill, drill these hose out, but I'm trying to, show you how I got that, where it is, where this right here is not way above here when I got it all the way up. And I can actually drop this down, this windscreen down. You got these little tabs right here. You turn these little tabs like this, like this. Very easy to do. And you put this down like this. And you can tilt it like that. What I really like about where I put this, located this, located these drill, uh, uh, placement where I drilled the hose at for this mounting, is that is just perfect. So if I'm off the road, it's just, it's just like as if I got this uh, windscreen by itself. Then going down the highway, going down the road, I really want to get rid of some air, then I lock these in and keep the buffeting from going on. But anyway, so I'm gonna put this back down. Matter of fact, I might, might be able to do something even better to be able to get the point across what I'm trying to do. Uh, so if I tuck this off, you can see where those land, where they would land those holes. All right, so I put this mark and what you've got to do, uh, that top, the top of this radius, I put it at this first bend where you go to peel this plastic off. And uh, so, you know, it's right past the tube. And I guess this is millimeters. That, that can't be two, two millimeters. It must be, uh, uh, that's probably 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters, just a little past 20 millimeters. You can put it on that. It'll just bring it up a little bit. <clears throat> but what I'm trying to get at is uh, the location. If I put, if I drilled those, if I put this to this, to this first arrow, they tell you to do it on all motor, on, but they don't know the difference what windscreen you're putting it on. So it's a template to move it around and you can put this here on this and then this, at this arrow right here, but look how much higher it gets it. I mean, you know, it gets it up higher and I don't want that. Otherwise I'll have a, I might as well get the clip-ons because when, when you put the clip-ons, you know, when you do like that, this thing is up here this much higher, which is fine, but this, I found this perfect. 
<clears throat> I see a lot of people put these on and they end up having to push them down because they're really up too high. And, uh, but I'm gonna put this back down in the off-road position. And uh, this thing works really good, believe it or not. And I like this touring edition type from uh, that Aprilia has a lot better because this right here really stopped a lot of the buffeting on the sides. When I put this one on here, before I put this on here, <laughs> it wasn't much uh, better than the other one. I was still getting a lot of hitting me in the face and the buffeting in the head and the helmet. And I, so yeah, it was okay, well, I'm 6'1". So I was kind of high, a little bit high up. And I was finding myself kind of ducking down, especially on a cool, breezy and windy day, you might say. And, uh, but put this up. There we are. Lock those in, man, it fixes it. It really fixes it, it does the job. And, uh, and then you can lock it, lock it right there and it locks solid, it works great. Really like, these are really good windscreen, uh, uh, visors. So again, I'm gonna go back to this. And so what you have to do when you, you peel this off, what I did, I didn't take the whole thing out. I only peeled this off right here. It's about ready to fall off. I only peeled this off right here and then used that sticky part. You know, I may even make another one. <laughs> uh, you know, if I ever break this one, that's why I'm keeping this because I ever tear it up, I'll have to get another one or something like that. And maybe they won't come with this template, I don't know. But I'll, that's pretty good. So that's that works really good. So you see where I put the hose, drill the hose, and I lined this up a little bit past uh, 20 millimeter mark. I guess that is, that's gotta be at least, that's a, at least, what does that look like, 10 millimeters to me? So I think it's like, well, that's probably five millimeters or something like that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna say 10. I went to the two mark, a little bit past the two mark, which happened to be the same uh, over here, just a little bit past the two mark. Well, this has really got some glare coming through. So there you go. And then when I line this up with this edge and this up with this edge, uh, it really made it work. And then what I did, when I did that, lined them up, this right here, and I took that, but I put it on this side. And then I wrapped, took the, peeled this off and wrapped it right around there. And it was like, it stuck on there. So you wanna drill it from this side, you know, it goes to keep it drawn tight. And uh, <clears throat> when I did that also, so you wanna do is you wanna line up the top to where you're gonna put it yeah, you might, well, you might, you know, some people might want to go to the arrow, but, you know, you just kind of have that big wind gap, a little air gap, which, you know, uh, but I wouldn't do it. I would do it like this, and I lined that up right there on that top part, and then I measured right in here. It was a little bit past six and a half, and I did the same thing over here on this side. <laughs> it was a little bit, you know, it was a little bit past right here on the bottom edge. So if you line those two up at the bottom part of where you're gonna put the uh, uh, template on your windscreen the, to drill the hose, it works, it works really good. So if you want one like mine and uh, you uh, buy the, uh, uh, first of all, you gotta get this type of uh, uh, windshield, windscreen from uh, Aprilia, the Touring Edition is what I like. And that really helps a whole lot. No more slapping my, flopping my jacket around on the sides. I can feel a lot of buffing and going down the highway. And this helped out a lot. I don't have that air get down. And uh, plus it was really nice. I just put uh, heated grips the other day. And you don't have to, if you put heated grips on, you don't have to take the dealer and have it clicked on. It automatically, uh, when you put, find the connections in here to hook it up, the, uh, uh, your dash sees that you got it. The computer says, hey, you know, turn it on. It shows you how to turn on this really I like that. But back to the windscreen. I'll get to that another time on another video. But we're going to go with this right here. And like I said, <clears throat> you can get this. I believe Revzella sells these. Uh, Big Rock Moto. I buy from them. And uh, I believe you'll find this at uh, AF1 also. Their AF1 uh, website. Yeah. Uh, I've seen those there too. But... 
uh, you know, once you find that X screen, you'll you'll be able to place who sells them. Uh, anyway, so there you have it right there, the holes that I drilled. Uh, and, you know, and put the screws in. It comes with, and this all this right here has all the, you know, information that you need to put this visor on. So this very visor works works great works great i'll tell you what uh it does a whole lot better it does better than my windscreen i put on i even got the uh, pledge for uh well the one i had on here was good here but it looks looks stupid i mean you know if you like the hat on the pope or whatever you know whatever but uh that's what one website said or when somebody explained it looks like the Pope, <laughs> the, the, anyway, it's so tall that, uh, the one screen I used to have on there and it didn't have this, it was kind of had this on the side and just like a weird looking, looked like a cedar tree up in the air or something like that. But this right here goes for this really well. And it looks good. It looks like it belongs on this bike. So <clears throat> I really like these, uh, uh extreme, screen uh uh windshields or wind windscreen visors however you want to say it but there you have it you'll have the template that goes with it it puts that on nicely and uh i get set up get my gopro and my helmet i'll probably go down the road and show you what's going on and the other was uh, you know put it down put it down and you can tell the difference and put it up and it's really good so uh, and you know, I usually, unless I'm off the road, I'll do it like that, drop it in and lock them in. But, but meanwhile, I'll do like this. And uh, it seems to go really good right there. Uh, yeah, so, and yeah, lock this in, lock this down, lock these down, lock these down, and it ain't going nowhere. And there's no vibration. <laughs> That right there goes so much with this windscreen, windshield. Amazing how it complements it. It looks like it came with the bike. It really does, you know. You know, it's almost the same. Uh, yeah, it just matches, you know. You got the, the plastics and stuff like that. It, it just really, really goes. So uh, there you have it. Sorry about the reflection of the, oh, wow. Oh, man, I should have put something over that. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> oh, well, but anyway, yeah, about a 17 minute video here just to try to show what I've done on the updates on the windscreen of this on the touring edition style that you can buy from Aprilia. It's, it's really good for, the, for this Tuareg, but uh, it's just not good enough until, well, well, there, until you, until you add the windscreen. Uh, Tour. Oh, wow. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, boy. Mm hmm. Sorry about the well, reflection of the sun coming in. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do 100 videos of this. So there you have it. Figure it'll help you out on the, really making a great bike even better from all the wind.